President Obama recently signed a proclamation declaring September as National Preparedness Month. Utah's chapter of the American Red Cross is pushing to get everyone in Utah prepared with the basics. Amanda Butterfield has the story of two sisters who are well on their way to making sure they are self-sufficient if disaster hits. <laughs> But These sisters are also best friends who have lived together pretty much their whole lives. When the younger sister, Mary Burchett, started working with the American Red Cross, she started to teach her older sister a thing or two. Just being a volunteer with the Red Cross and seeing the kind of um, the fires that happen and, you know, you never know when something could happen. I honestly didn't even think about it until Mary started working at the Red Cross and got us really uh, involved and aware of, of the need for being prepared. Now they both have 72 hour kits. Um, we've also got a first aid kit in here. Water, food, been. batteries. They are set. It definitely gives me a little, I don't know, a little ease of mind or peace of mind knowing that I can just grab my backpack and run out the door. I want to be able to take care of myself. I mean we have wildfires, we have house fires, we have floods, we have evacuations in Utah and we're at risk for a major 7.0 earthquake. And something as simple as a 72 hour kit will help. To motivate people to get one, the American Red Cross is offering 10% off its items on its website with the code PREPARE. Online, you'll also find a checklist of what to put in your kit and an example of an evacuation plan. You don't know when things could happen. Uh, you should always be ready. The spokesperson for the Utah chapter of the American Red Cross says they're always able to help. Say one neighborhood is flooded. Guess what? The American Red Cross is going to be there right away. But if a big disaster hits, don't expect them to be there right away. If you have 5,000 people who all need help at the same time, it's going to take a while for help to get there. Amanda Butterfield, KSL 5 News. One tip from the preparedness people, they say to switch out the food and batteries in your 72-hour kit when you switch your clocks for daylight savings time. There are more tips available and an emergency kit checklist from the American Red Cross on KSL.com. New research.